Hello everyone, this is Ferbo. Since my last face swap video got removed by YouTube twice with no clear explanation and I got a warning strike. Many friends asked me where the video was. I have been thinking of making another video for it now that the new Queen image edit 2511 is out. I could finally do it using the new model and new nodes to update the old workflows. In the new workflows, some adjustments have been made to make them more efficient and easier to use, like prompt inversion for better facial expression transfer and manual masking for precise group face swap. But the key model remains. These have to be lower, face to full body lower. It still works perfectly well with 2511. Even better, after all, 2509 and 2511 share the same base, and 2511 is an enhanced version. Using the app to be lower, you can do face swap and face to full body image generation by using only a face image, like you can see from the demos. One face, full body, high fidelity. See? Of course, the uncensored model is not left out. And the good news is that the old grid issue and color issue no longer exists in the new Queen all in one uncensored model. With this uncensored model, you can generate anything you want. This is the all-in-one model page, you can see here. Now let's go through the workflows first, and then we'll do some real tests to better understand the models and the workflows. I have also uploaded the workflows to Running Hub, the cloud computer platform I've been using to develop workflows and test new ideas. Also free and much faster than my local GPU. Here you don't need to set up or download anything, just click and run. Or if you are really not into this comfy UI thing, I also made the workflows into AI apps, like this. You can simply upload the reference images and then click run, done. This one and this one. This one is the face to full body. Now back to the workflow. In this tutorial, I built two workflows. The first one is the F2P lower face web workflow. The second one is the F2P face to full body workflow. This one and this one. Start from the F2P face web workflow. The logic behind the F2P face web workflow is to use the strong reference power of the face to body lower to only generate the face within the masked area. Like this, masking an area in the main body image and then using in painting to only generate the face in this area, this area only generate this face in this area and here's the result it's just this simple here i have also separated the workflow into two different this auto masking for single person face web and the other is for manual masking since many people want to do group face swapping or just swap one face in a multi-person image in this case manually doing the mask would be better and a seed vr2 after processing group was also added too here to increase the resolution or fix some artifacts in the result to make it better, you can see here. After the upscaling, the quality is much, much better. And that's the whole picture of the workflow. Now let's dive deeper into the details. Start from the upper one, the auto masking workflow. On the left side is the group controller. You can enable or disable the groups you want here. Just click. This note here is all the models used in this workflow. If you want to run this workflow locally, open the links and download the model files to the specified place. If you are totally new to ConfUI, follow my other video guide to install ConfUI first. I will provide the link for you. In this workflow, I use the official FPA version of the model and the four steps speed up lower and two extra lowers. One is the consistency fixed lower and the other one is the F2P lower. Pay attention to these F2P lower strengths. The higher the strength, the more the result looks like the face reference image. The GGUF load here. If you have a low VRAM GPU, you could download the GGUF version. It requires much less VRAM. After loading the models, we can upload the body reference image and the face reference image, resize them, and then pass them to the next pass. Write the prompt and crop the face out. The prompt here, I added Queen 3 VLM for prompt inversion to analyze the expression of the body image or the face image. Since in the previous version, many people didn't know how to write a prompt. 
to transfer the expression properly. So I added this group for your convenience. Just click this switch, choose the one you like. True uses the body image expression. False uses the face reference image expression. The model will be auto downloaded the first time you run this Queen VL node. It may take a while, just be patient depending on your internet connection. Or if the auto expression is not working so well for you, you can also write a prompt totally on your own. Just disable this group and write the prompt here, write it on your own. The face cropping node here adjusts the scale factor and the shift factor to resize the face to appropriate size. It supports multi face selection, just change the star index here. Zero means the first person, one means the second, so on and so forth. This is just a, a programming convention mm, for no reason. And the body image is passed through this human segment pass ultra node, like you can see, for auto face mask segmentation. In this node, you can choose the parts you want to swipe with, only face or include hair and glasses. Pay attention to the mask grow node here. If the auto masked area is not enough to cover the face swipe area, increase this grow value to make the mask bigger to cover more area. But sometimes if the mask is too big, or if you want to swap one of the faces in the image, this will not work well. In that case, we need to use manual masking. And then all the mask, this mask, the body image, and the prompt will be passed to this in painting node. And then case sampler will do the final processing. Pay attention to the denoise value here in the case sampler. The lower it is, the more the result looks like the body image. The higher the value, the more it looks like the face reference image, but not too high. It may break the output. 0.7 is the one I found to have the best balance. Feel free to change them if the result is not perfect for you. Other parts of the settings, you don't need to touch them except for the seed and the steps. Different seeds generate slightly different results and more steps normally mean better quality but take more time. And that's it for the auto masking group. The manual masking group below most parts remain the same, only the masking part. Here I deleted this human face sec node and link the mask input directly to the load image node. You can see here this mask directly linked the image node. You can draw a mask manually like this. Just right click the image and then click open in, in mask editor. You will see a panel like this. Just draw the face area out and click save. Make sure you brush all the areas. Don't leave a hole in the middle. And that's it. You just made a mask that is equivalent to the auto mask. This is a good way if you want to only swap one face in a group photo. Let's try a group photo. Use these two inputs. Sorry, my local GPU got some unknown problem. So I have to use the cloud computer for demonstration for the group face swapping. Just right click, open it, mask editor, and then mask this face and click save. Here, as we said earlier, you need to select the right face. If you want to swap this face, you need to select the index one, two, three. If you want to swap this face, this is the number two. Start from zero. Let's swap with this face. Set it to two and check if the face is correct. Right click to only execute this node. No, it should be this one. Right, this one. And then see if the face is correct. Yes, we need to swap this face with this face. And then let's disable this one first. Click run. For the face index, let me explain again. It will automatically crop all the faces in the image. The index means the order of the faces. One, two, three, four. But it starts from zero. This face is zero and this might be one, this might be two, and this might be three. Set the index here, like to one, two, three. It will choose a different face from this image. The same as this one. Just right click to execute this node before you run the whole workflow to check if the face is correct. See, the face has swapped to this woman, this woman, to this woman, to this woman. This is how you do a group face swap. Just 
Mask the one you want to swap and then choose the right face. That's it. Finally, let's take a look at the face to full body workflow. The model part is still the same. I just added this AIO all in one model here for uncensored content generation and a post prompt inversion for post reference. This one is optional and not that accurate with only prompts to control a post. You know that. You can just bypass this node and write the prompt yourself here. This is where you set up the output resolution. For better human anatomy, I also added this MCNL lower. Just enable it when you feel the human anatomy is not enough for you and adjust the weight. And let's click run, see how it goes. From the result, you can see that Let's check it to compare it with the original post reference. You can see the environment and the cloth is quite similar and the pose uh, remotely similar. We can see that. If you want to copy the exact pose of the reference image, you may need to run a few more times and then cherry pick to get a better result. But the face fidelity is very, very high. Just use one face to generate a full body image. And for higher resolution, you could enable the seed VR2 group here. You can see after upscaling, the quality is much, much better. And the seed VR2 model here, this model will also be downloaded the first time you run this workflow, run this node. And this model is quite big, so be patient. If you want to dig deeper into this seed VR2 upscale, you could check my other videos. I made one. I will provide the link for you. And if you run this workflow locally, I also added the RAM cleanup node. This node is not supported on the cloud platform, so but it is quite useful for local running. Not just clear the VRAM, but also the RAM. Just go to the repo address of this node or install it in the Comf UI manager. And for local running, if you run this workflow locally, whether the face swap workflow or the face to full body workflow, you may need to reload this node. See it via to download DIT model node. Just right click and click reload. And this Queen VL node. Just right click and reload the node. Due to the version mismatch of the node. And that's all for today's video. If you think it is helpful, please like, share the video and subscribe for more. If you have any questions or good ideas, please share them in the video comment section. Thanks for watching. See you.